Good morning. Today is Saturday, September 12th. Um, last night I went and met up with a few people from the Bramit group at Suncoast. Every Friday they, Suncoast has a sock cup. And there's like four bands that rotate every week. And um, at the showroom where I you know, go, there, go sometimes on Saturdays for shows, they cleared out the floor because sometimes, usually what I like is when they have tables for the shows. And sometimes they have stadium seating, just chairs on the floor. I hate that. But they cleared all that out for the dance floor. And then um, we sat like on the top row of tables. And um, I was told that they usually take two tables because there's big well four tables actually because there's a table in a table next to it so eight people can sit so they usually take like two of those and this time they only used one and they tried to get me to dance and I was like no <laughs> I think they're trying to get me out of my shell um because they they were really glad that I came you know maybe you know get out and I think I'm the youngest one in that group. Well, no. There's a son. One of the women's son goes to the group sometimes. So I think he's the youngest. But um, and today I felt like I was the youngest one there. And I think I the, was the youngest one in the whole showroom. And I'm 43. I'm going to be 44 in, uh, I want to say two months, but it's not. It's like. A few weeks. Ugh. <laughs> and yeah. Um, and then I took a lift there and um, somebody took me home and um, they're going to pick me up Sunday. I'm going to go and they know I don't drive. They offered to, you know, pick me up and take me home, which is good because I want to go to that restaurant. I've never been there. You know, I really haven't been to too many restaurants since we moved here besides the casinos <laughs> and places by me so that should be fun and oh and tonight I'm going to see Tenors of Rock again I was going, thinking of going because they had tickets up for Thursday and I'm glad I didn't because I would never made it to the show because <laughs> the show starts at 7.30 and you have to be there a half hour early to pick up the tickets. And, you know, getting there with rush hour, I'm like, I'm like there was no way I would have made it. Because I came home last night, or not last night, Friday night around 9, or no, 10. Yeah, around 10 o'clock. Because we didn't eat. We didn't sit down till like 7.30. So, yeah, I would have never made it. So, and um, I'm debating to go, well, I know I want to go to Bellagio to see the fall conservatory display. And first I'm thinking of going before, getting going to the strip before the show started to go to Bellagio to look at it and then go to um, Planet Hollywood to, for the show. Because they're right across the street. But I'm thinking of doing what I did last time, which I saw them, which was in July, is seeing the show and then go across the street to look at the conservatory. And it's really cool at night. So, and then take the um, Uber or Lyft from there, which is cheaper, I think, at least the last two couple times, going, getting a Lyft or um, Uber from Bellagio than it is from Planet Hollywood. Because one time I was going to come home from Hollywood and it was like way too much money. <laughs> so I went across the street to Bellagio and took it from there. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. Today I'm just going to chill at home. I'm going to work on this a little bit and maybe work on my reverse collage book. Because I already picked out some stuff for a couple pages to glue down. Um, 
and work on. I already painted out the um, sky in this one. I use white, a neon blue, and I forget the other blue I used. I think, no. I think it's, I think it's this one. I'm not right, I'm not too sure. So, I'll work on that one, and then and I already picked one out for either next Tuesday, I picked out this one to work on, so I gotta pick out stuff to put in that one, and then I gotta work on this one, and I think yesterday, yeah, I picked out the stuff to, um, do on this one while watching the Bake Off <laughs> on Netflix, on Netflix. <coughs> excuse me, on Netflix, and I straightened out my um, fodder, magazine fodder, because I pulled out stuff from magazines and just stuck it in there, and um, I separated them in categories, so I did that, I think yesterday, or the day before, yeah, the day before, and yesterday I went through and picked up pick stuff out. So yeah that's the plan for today and I just found out that Disney Plus is now open for signups to um, before their launch on November 12th and I was like this close to signing up but I didn't want <laughs> on my credit card yet because I already spent enough on there. Uh, I'm thinking of waiting until um, my birthday, which is like only a few days before lunch, as a little birthday present to myself. Plus, I'm waiting to see if they have gift cards for it, like they do with Hulu and Netflix and HBO Go and all those other streaming things, um, like Spotify and all that stuff. And it's not too bad of a price. It's $6.99 for a month, you know, every month. And then a yearly thing of $69.99, which isn't too bad also. And um, Hulu, which is, I think Disney owns that too. They're doing a combo thing um, with Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN. ES, excuse me, ESPN Plus for $12.99. And that's not too bad, even though I can do without ESPN Plus. But Hulu is $5.99 a month, which is a month free. You can get a month, the first month is free. And then Disney Plus is $6.99 a month. So I think that's like $12.99, no, $13.99. No, $6.99. <laughs> Math. F is bad. <laughs> six ninety nine. Oops. Six dot nine nine plus five dot nine nine. Twelve ninety eight. So basically with um and ESPN and Hulu ESPN plus Hulu and Disney Plus for those three is twelve ninety nine a month. So basically with that plan, you get uh, buy two, get one free. <laughs> so that's not bad either. So lots of options with that. And um, so, yeah, I think that's enough rambling right now. Um, so I'm going to end it here. I might bring this along so I can film the Bellagio conservatory stuff. I don't, and try to take pictures too. <laughs> on my phone and last time I was there at um, Tenors of Rock because it's a small theater you weren't allowed to take pictures or videos which I understand I would never well I wouldn't say that <laughs> but I take pictures I don't but I wouldn't, I'm not too sure about video um but I was on um, I was on Instagram, and somebody I follow went, 
and she took pictures and video of the show. So I don't know. And it's a small theater. They can tell that you're taking a picture. <laughs> because when I went, nobody took pictures. Of course, I was in the second row. But anyway, enough rambling. That's it. See you guys later. I just got back. The show was really good as usual, though it's the same thing as the, as the last time I saw them back in June. I know in the vlog I said July, but now I'm thinking about it. I thought about it at the show and it was June the last time I saw them. And the last time I saw it was the same the last time I saw them before last year. But, you know, I would definitely go again to the show um, when I'm able to. And maybe this time I'll wait and meet them. Um, they do a meet and greet at the end of the show, and um, yeah, I, the last few times I didn't do it. Uh, well, the first time I saw them, the way the theater is in Harris, it was like it was the theater and then escalators <laughs> to go down. So yeah, it was a little hard to do a meet and greet there. And I think the last last time I saw them last time, my mom wasn't, well, she was well, well, well as could be, but she, you know, had to get home. And this time I had, I could stay out as late as I wanted to, but, you know, I came home, well, I didn't go home right away. <laughs> um, then from the show, I went across the street to um, Bellagio and looked at the, the new display at the conservatory. It was really pretty, autumn theme. It was Indians, Aspire, elephants, and tires. I took pictures on my camera. I did bring my digital, but I didn't to get out of my purse to do any video or anything because it was so crowded with people, with people stopping to take pictures and self, selfies and stuff. So I'll include some pictures um, at the end of the video of the display because I took a lot and yeah and then I came home. I took Lyft both ways because Lyft was much cheaper than Uber. I think going to Planet Hollywood on Uber it would have been $18 I think and with Lyft it was $15. You know $3 difference right there and then while I was waiting in line for the show. Oh, that's another thing. I got the I I went early. Well, I went there to you know and, um, I got my tickets early, I should say. because I wanted to know where the theater was because last time I was there the entrance to the theater was in a different spot. And they had a big sign for Sin City Theater and you know um, Tenders of Rock and and um, she explained it to me when I got the ticket. I'm like, okay. And I got VIP ticket, which is you get seated first. And you get, like, the front row seat or the second row seat. So I went in second with VIP, and I got seated in the second row. That's where they put me, not in the front. I don't know why, but there was another couple. Uh, well, nobody sat in the front until this couple came, and they sat in the front. Yeah, I still had good seats. I had second row. Um, so I did take manage to take a couple of pictures at the end because I saw nobody taking pictures around me. Well, the couple in front of me did, but you can hardly tell they took pictures because he had his screen really dark. And um, so, but then toward the end, people were taking pictures. So I took a managed to snap a couple. The one was blurry. Well, a couple of them were blurry. So, yeah. And then I came home. And my Lyft ride coming home was $14. Compared to Lyft was 18 or 17 It was, you know, higher. So, I went with Lyft. And it was fine. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to chillax and go to bed. And then tomorrow I got my lunch. Kind of excited about that because it's a new restaurant that I've never been to. And it has seafood and crab and shrimp and everything I love. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. I was going to say, 
something when I, about why I was doing waiting in line for the show, and then I got distracted by saying I was VIP. But when I was waiting in line, I looked up a cab company my mom used to use a lot when we went down, when we went to uh, Main Street Station for overnights or to meet the um, senior tripsters for trips. And um, they have an estimated fare. So while waiting in line, I went to see how much it would have been, how much it would have cost from coming to, from my house to Planet Hollywood, and it was $40, a little in change. And um, then I did the same. If I was coming home from Planet Hollywood to the house, and that was also around, no, I think that was a little more. That was 42 So it would have been over $80 round trip. And I just looked at my phone when I realized I forgot to mention this. I spent 15 56 going there and 1480 coming home from Bellagio. So that was like, I can't do math. Maybe the same 40, it was 30 or 40 round trip. I don't. Uh, let me look. <laughs> let me do the math. Uh, Looking, I'm trying to get you to look at the flowers so I can figure this out. It was fifteen fifty nine. I was close. Plus fourteen eighty. It was a thirty dollars and thirty nine cents round trip, so I was close. So compared to eighty dollars round trip, it saved like ten dollars, a little more than ten dollars. <laughs> Don't mind me, math is never my strong suit. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to point that out. You do save a little bit of money while taking Uber than a cab to the strip. Even though it seems like a lot of money when you're looking at it, you know, trying to find the ride. And um, so, yeah, I saved a lot of money doing that. And try to have to remember that when finding a, you know, a cheaper route with Uber or Lyft and stuff. So, anyway, enough of me rambling. See you guys later.